to pause for a moment um, to remember Susie Morris, who passed away about two weeks ago and was uh, the matriarch of this family. And I think anyone who met Susie knows that she was an astonishingly elegant, but very direct and I would say normal, very approachable woman. She was um, uh, a really remarkable presence in Houston and I think a wonderful part of this community. The lounge is, it came about because her children, the five Morris children, wanted to do something in her honor. And um, she was very interested in landscape, in the outdoors, and uh, so the, the idea of doing something outside was, was pretty easy. And we realized pretty quickly that this courtyard is a space that wa just wasn't being used much. And you can see this is one of the most fabulous trees on campus. Exactly 100 years ago, in the summer of 1916, my grandmother, Carrie Holloman Morris, moved her family from the small town of Madisonville, Texas, to Houston. The only motivating factor for their move to Houston was to have their two children attend Rice Institute, which was free. It was a good decision. Both my father and his sister later graduated from Rice with architecture degrees and went on to successful careers. Sai's route to the architecture department was a little circuitous, though. He arrived at Rice determined to be an engineer. He met with the registrar, Mr. McCants. McCants told him, Sai, your grades aren't quite good enough to get in the engineering school, but there might be an opening in the architecture school. He responded, you know, Mr. McCants, I've always wanted to be an architect. <laughs> As many of you know, Cy went on to build a large architectural practice in Houston, designing and co-designing many Houston landmarks, including the Astrodome, Wortham Theater, Pennzoil Place, Shell Buildings, and many other downtown and suburban office towers. For our family, this project represented an opportunity to honor, also honor our mother, Susie Morris. Though Mother passed away two weeks ago at the age of 94, we're grateful she was able to share with us the process of commissioning this lounge. As you can see, Charles Renfro has indeed created a functional piece of art in this beautiful and prominent outdoor space. I thought, why not make a lounge that is not just for sitting, but that um, is for um, do, accommodating any body position, for sitting upright to slouching, to reclining, to sleeping, um, and, and an, in an array of social constructs from being in s a single sitter to um, small groups. Different bodies, one bench collected together. This is a beautiful place to be. And we need people to celebrate and use the outdoor spaces of the university and to designate a lounge which celebrates the spaces outdoors and open airs. That's not, we hope, just a statement about this space, but spaces all across the campus about how students should use their time and interact with people and relate to people and enjoy both the natural and man-made things of beauty on this campus. 